anybody that's been in business ever knows that word of mouth is probably the most important part of building your brand. Uh, whether you're a product like Red Bull, you don't think all the club goers, the in crowd built that brand, or Cristal or Grey Goose, or if you're a landscaper or a dentist or a lawyer, you think those ads that you buy in the yellow pages mean anything? Mm-hmm. Word of mother effing mouth. Now, let's talk about word of mouth in 2008. It's a lot more powerful. It's on steroids. It's Roger Clemensing it. It's Barry Bondsing it. It is on absolute steroids. In this day and age with social products like Pounce and Twitter and all the Jaiku and Dodgeball. I don't know, I just wanted to go there. Facebook and MySpace with bulletins or whatever you use, whether it's Bebo or you know Orchid, depending if you're in Brazil, right? With the way we're going now and with the SDK stuff, you don't think there's gonna be an amazing billion dollar company that's an application through texting eight trillion people in two seconds? Heck, Twitter is that now, right? Um, So the fact of the matter is, where this world is going on June 16, 2008, um, people need to recognize, companies need to recognize um, that word of mouth is absolutely more explosive, more powerful than ever. Let's talk about the biggest socialite in 1998, a decade ago. Heck, let's go to 2001. The biggest socialite you knew could only do so much damage with her or his word of mouth. What, 30, 60, 80? An email is fine, but very, very spammy. But in a world where you connect to people and you have the option if you want to follow them or not, word of mouth now is in a greater impact to every business and brand than it's ever been in my opinion and it's going to continue that way and so that's what's really important now for people to understand how powerful word of mouth is how important word of mouth is and how people's reach with their word of mouth has expanded to levels we've never seen before or could comprehend where people have 40 50 thousand followers when do you think what excuse me what do you think is going to happen when real life non-internet brands get involved with things like Twitter. When Lindsay Lohan, when Tom Cruise, when Oprah Winfrey has a billion followers on a Twitter-like product. I mean, what do you think is gonna happen? The impact, the speed. Anybody using these new technologies knows what I'm talking about. Now, factor this in. 99% of the world doesn't know about this yet. What happens in the next 24, 36, 48 months when the rest of the world catches up and starts using these social tools to get their word of mouth into a greater space? The whole marketing and branding of brands is going to go upside down, flip, and newspaper ads and billboards and radio spots are going to seem very unsexy. And brands, where are you Coca-Cola, Gillette, Procter & Gamble? which is Gillette. I mean, where are you? Where are you leveraging these brands now? Why are you not testing the waters in a much bigger way when word of mouth now is so powerful? When no longer is it just a celebrity pitching your product anymore? When three or four common folk with a lot of following on the internet can do that kind of damage? Where are you? Word of mouth 2.0 is the future.